First thing you got to do is subscribe. Second thing you got to do is follow me on Instagram at C E D D Y N A S H. So, Cass is basically dropping music and everything like that and preparing for the biggest fight of his life. And I think it's going to. I, I have no zero. I got zero sources on this. Zero. This is all opinion. But I think it's going to cost Cuz like $10 million to fight this case, bro. And I think it might even go up upwards to $14 million. But he's doing it the way that all these other stupid ass rappers should be doing it. When Quando Rondo got into his stuff, what I say? Drop, his, drop a tape, drop music, bro. And say nothing. That's what he did. That's how you want to operate. Then, you know, did a couple of things and stuff like that. But other than that, you know, when you see, when I seen Lil Mama, I mean, not Lil Mama, damn, cuz, what's that girl name? <laughs> Whatever that rapper is, I can't remember her name. Oh, Young and May, my fault. Young and May, my bad, my bad, my apologies. When she got that speeding ticket, bro, what did I say? I say, run your ass down there to Florida real quick, get on the speedway. And make a mockery of the situation. You're not about to. You just got a speeding ticket. That's it. That's all they're gonna do is give you a speeding ticket and fine your ass. Go down there. That's you know the, you already in the tabloids. Drop a video real quick. Snatch one of them damn uh, fucking videographers and stuff like that, and take your ass down to Florida. It's only about a six hour drive, seven hour drive anyway from where you at, or hop on a plane. I would personally just take a car there. But the way you drive, you know, you might have got there in four hours. But <laughs> that's not a diss. That's just, you know, me showing my funny side. But Cass has to get all his money up. But here's the beauty of all of this shit. He's finally going to be able to get away from people and literally start to, you know, save his money. Start to not have to be in certain situations and all that. And all he got to say is. Bro, look what the fuck just happened. Nigga, I'm not trying to go to jail. I got a family to feed. Who going to feed my family when I'm behind the walls? Who going to do this? Who going to do that? You know what I'm saying? This is the perfect opportunity for him to distance himself from anybody that's not helping him make money. If it ain't a business relationship, every person that Casanova has to mess with right now can only benefit him financially. So they do a joint venture or something like that because his name is still buzzing hot as ever right now. Those are the only people that Casanova need to mess with. That's it. Anyway, I don't give a damn who the hell it is. If it ain't intermediate family or intermediate friends, nobody from no hood, nobody from anywhere. You ain't got to do no interviews, no nothing like that. And if you do an interview, as soon as they try to DJ Vlad your ass and stuff like that, Kels, next question. So this way you start showing these cats, you know, the new skills in which you didn't acquire. I'm personally rooting for Casanova, bro. I hope none of those charges stay. I hope everything gets dropped. I don't want to see nobody go to jail, cuz. Except for, you know, pedophiles and rapists and shit like that. Yeah, I want to see certain people in jail like that. Niggas who steal from the, the fucking the older generation and stuff like that. And even steal from kids, bro. I, something I don't like about thieves who take from the misfortunate or unfortunate you get what i'm saying them type of motherfuckers i want to see under the cell if you take it from people who can't do shit if you're a rapist if you're a pedophile bro gotta go and if you're a bitch beater bro i don't like niggas who, who put their hands on females because that shit is the the biggest motherfucking bitch move you can do beating the shit out of a female some of you dudes yeah, when y'all rap sheet come out and all these domestics and all of that shit and everything, I get, you know, every once in a while, you got to, you know, push motherfuckers the fuck back for you and bitches go crazy because you got to put it in your mental to get the fuck up out of there. But this ain't about all that, Cass. Cass, all, all Cass got to do, and I'm pretty sure, first off, he don't need my, my motherfucking advice at all. Zero. And he ain't going to see this video or nothing like that. Cuz is focused on his bags. But for you other stupid ass rappers, if right now you're going through some turmoil, don't fuck with nobody who can't put money in your pocket. Nobody. I don't give a fuck.